around 50 kilometers north of the capital city, Doha. And this will be the arena which will stage the final of the 2021 Arab Cup on December the 18th. The fans getting ready to welcome the 10th edition of the tournament, but the first to be organized by and come under the official umbrella of FIFA. 16 teams split into four groups of four. It's the biggest number of participating nations in any Arab Cup. And the wider Arab world is represented by six African nations, Egypt, Algeria, Morocco, Tunisia, Mauritania and Sudan. Nine teams qualified automatically via their ranking, including, of course, the hosts. Seven more had to come through a qualifying game in June here in Qatar. And Bahrain, who we will see shortly in this Group A game, they came through after a 2-0 win over Kuwait. Two games have already been played on day one of the tournament, including in this Group A. Iraq won, Oman won. A very late equaliser, I can tell you, in that match for Iraq, who also had a player sent off. In the Group B game concluded earlier today, Tunisia had a handsome victory over Mauritania by five goals to one. Two goals there for Sefadine Jaziri and two for Mohamed Ben Alabi. Well, the excitement building, we're expecting a crowd of just under 50,000 for this match. Some very talented players on view as well for you to enjoy. crowd just being advised to take their seats in readiness very shortly for the 2021 FIFA Arab Cup opening ceremony. This stadium, incidentally, does hold over 60,000, but the attendance is restricted for safety reasons to just under 50,000. Opening ceremony about to begin. The music you will hear shortly will be performed by the Qatar Philharmonic Orchestra.
audience here in Alcor, just waiting for the arrival of His Highness, the Amir Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani. The ceremony itself will link the past to the present, coming from an ancient time to the new present time. Amongst the sights you will see in this upcoming ceremony, 220 dancers will perform a mass choreography, a 12-minute sequence based around traditional and trendy songs showcasing all the countries of the region. As well as the dancers, we'll have six singers performing. And of course, the 2021 FIFA Arab Cup being used as a prelude to next year's World Cup, of course, to be staged here in Qatar. The arrival of His Highness the Amir Sheikh, alongside him, FIFA President Gianni Infantino. Quite an astounding Al Bayt Stadium. It means the home in English. Mesmeric design inspired by the tents traditionally used by nomadic people across the Gulf region. The largest arena being used at this tournament. His Highness greets. The audience and the opening ceremony will shortly begin. What a marvellous sight the old White Stadium is. Six. Of the stadium. Of eight. To be used for the World Cup next year. مساءكم سعيد بعافية وعمر مديد أهلا بكم معشر جمع العرب القديم الجديد من ضفاف نهر الزمن حيث حكايات الرخاء والمحن تبدأ حكاية الليلة الجميلة حكاية عرب يجمعهم كل شيء ويفرقهم أيضا كل شيء أعزائي أتذكرون الشخصية التي اشتهرت في الأدب العربي؟ الساخر الناقد الفذلكي الذي يصحبه حمارنا المعي نعم هو ذاك شحا رحال الافلاك 
The opening of the ceremony reveals Johar the Traveler with his donkey. Reflecting ancient times, which will shortly, as you will see, the desert will transform itself, as you can see, into a football pitch, linking the past with the present. Johar is telling the audience you're very different today, but you meet on many things without you realizing it. For example, this round object that he reveals shortly that you call football brings you together in moments of joy and passion. Now interrupted by two deep fake legends, Abdul Hussein and Saeed Saleh. ومن انت ايضا من انت الله الله انت هتغلط ولا ايه لا ما اسمحلكش سامح يا ابن الحلال سامح الريال طاق درب من التراث العربي للدوحة التروالي الفقير حتى القاري ما يعرفه اه اكيد ما يعرفش القاري ده ها يعرف مين القاري ده يكون عارف شنو يعني قاري انت ويه انا حس شوارب اذا تعرف شنو يعني قاري انا حسامحه المره دي عشان خاطرك انت بس اسمع يا خينا احنا توحدنا بالغنى صحيح لكن كمان بالسقفة بالضحكة بالدمعة وهو ده سر حب الناس لينا اذا نحن نتشابه في حب الناس لنا ايه من ناحية انت شابه انت شابه بس الفرق الوحيد بيننا وبينك انت زيادة عليك حمارك ايش <تصفيق> رايك اسمعك شيء عمرك ما سمعته بس بقول لك ايه واحدة واحدة بقى عليها انت شايف فرق التوقيت بيننا وبين <تصفيق> اسمع يلا خلنا نروح يلا خلنا نروح يلا خلنا نروح يا بنجمة وقمر Another message that Johar the Traveller was sending out was one of music which brings you together, he said, in various colours and enjoy collectively. The arrival now of 220 dancers who will perform a 12-minute sequence of mass choreography based around traditional and trendy songs showcasing all the countries of the region. As well as the dancers, We'll observe six singers performing. Right at the end of this sequence, we'll show you we'll finally see the emblem of the Arab Cup itself revealed. Enjoy.
اسمح لشوفك ساعة بس ساعة تفاهم فيها بس موضوع صار أكبر من اللازم form the shape of the emblem of the Arab Cup itself. At the end of that spectacular 12-minute choreography. I can tell you the trophy itself is made of pure gold. Turn now to Johal the Traveller. The deep fakes. And when Johal and his donkey exit, deep fake of Farouz will then perform a song. وتالي والناس منا وفينا ويسكرون حلوجنا خبرك يا مستر جحا احنا العرب نحب نحط راسنا على المخده والنام واحنا مظلومين مو هذا المنطق منطق اي منطق اي انا شكو طايح فيني زف كاهم جد دعمك حاجهم منطق اي يا متعلمين يا بتوع المدارس هذا يعني ان بعض الحقائق لاتو ابوك للين هذا انت قلتها وبكذي الاجيال اللي ورانا تعتقد شيء وللاسف التاريخ شيء ثاني يا رجل يا رجل لكل زمان دوله ورجال عادل كلامك واحنا ولله الحمد عندنا رجال عندنا رجال ونساء عندهم الموهبه عندهم الثقافه عندهم العلم ايوه طبعا وفي منهم الموجود وفي منهم أعلم 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 طيور مهاجرة طيور تحمل معها أهم الأسئلة التي ليست لها إجابات واضحة طيور بتقول مين السبب في هجرتنا؟ مين السبب في غربتنا؟ وطيور رحلتها طويلة بس للأسف ما حد فينا يدري الرحلة هذه متى بتنتهي يما عوامالهم وأحلامهم كلها وحطوها بجنطة ولزقوا عليها لزقة قابل للكسر للأسف ما كناش عارفين إن الحاجات دي لو اتكسرت صعب نرجع نجمعها تاني لكن الغريب 
غريب عرف شلون يمحها ويطبطب عليها ويداريها ويستفيد منها وتالي يردها لنا بس اخ اخ يا القهر اخ يوم الغريب ردها لنا ردها مختومه بختم هذه صناعتكم بس اخ برا وطنكم اذا يا عرب ارجو ان تكون الرساله قد وصلت هذا ما اتمناه على الاقل ويبقى هناك سؤال مهم ويحتاج للاجابه هل سنرجع متى سنرجع سنرجع يوما اين حي ونغرق في دافئه المنى سنرجع مهما يمر الزمان وتنهل المسافات ما بيننا حتماً حتماً يا سفيرة النجوم حتماً سنرجع برغم غيوم الهموم لنستمع الآن لصاحب المقام والشان متفضلاً بكلمة تدشين لبطولة العرب المجتمعين أعلن افتتاح بطولة كأس العرب فيفا قطر 2021 متمنياً للجميع المنتخبات التوفيق وأهلاً بجميع العرب في دوحة العرب أهلاً أهلاً وسهلاً قطر بيت الوحدة بيت العالم العربي اليوم والعالم غدا لناكم أمة واحدة عائلة كرة قدم واحدة Let's celebrate football and unite the world together معا President of FIFA, Gianni Infantino, I believe, speaking in Arabic for a few moments there. Well appreciated by the audience here in Alcor. Now, the pianist and two singers will perform 23 national anthems of 23 nations who set out on the road to this 2021 Arab Cup. <laughs> قسما 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 لمن نشر الضياء قطر ستبقى حرة تسمو بروح الأوفياء بلادي 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 لك حبي وفؤادي
performance of 23 national anthems of 23 nations who set out on the road to this 2021 Arab Cup tournament. Shortly a spectacular pyrotechnics display to conclude the opening ceremony for the 2021 FIFA Arab Cup. Amongst those national anthems incidentally included the 
seven nations who missed out in the qualifying round but still reflected here. Kuwait, Yemen, South Sudan, Comoros, Djibouti, Somalia and Libya. Still very much valued members of the family. Kickoff between the hosts Qatar and Bahrain in Group A, just minutes away. Well, I think you'll agree that was really quite something. Wets the appetite not only for this FIFA Arab Cup 2021, but for the World Cup itself, which will begin in just under a year's time here in Qatar. The host nation and Bahrain are ready. A big crowd at the Al Bayt Stadium in Al Khor is ready. <laughs> Qatar have been very busy in terms of matches this year, including some very testing, but nevertheless important matches for their development as a guest team in one of the European World Cup qualifying groups. Seven games they played against Serbia and Portugal twice. Republic of Ireland, Luxembourg and Azerbaijan. The Maroons of Qatar lost five of those seven games. The draws were against Luxembourg and Azerbaijan. Bahrain are traditional rivals, near neighbours of course to Qatar. All four nations in this Group A from the Gulf. That brings its own sense of rivalry. Despite the fact that there are a number of players based with teams around Europe who are not here, their clubs were not duty-bound to release the players to play in this competition. Remember, of course, the African nations who are here have got the African Cup coming up in January. Football in this region is transforming. Under FIFA's direction for the first time, the Arab Cup.
Let's welcome the national teams of Qatar. On day one of the 10th edition of the Arab Cup, but the first under the FIFA umbrella, it is the host nation Qatar seeking their maiden title in this competition against traditional rivals and near neighbours in the Gulf, Bahrain. First meeting of these two nations in Qatar since 2014. A goalless draw in an Asian Cup qualifier. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise if you can for the play of the national anthem of Bahrain. <laughs> Your Excellency, ladies and gentlemen, please remain standing for the playing of the national anthem of Qatar. The wait is nearly over for Qatar and Bahrain to get their Arab Cup competition underway. Very experienced team for the hosts, many of the players long-standing internationals. Tarek Salam, Salman was a under-19 international at the age of 16. Portuguese-born Pedro Miguel will play in defence. Captain Abdulaziz Hatem, one of a number in the squad of Sudanese descent and two players to watch in this tournament Almoez Ali and Akram Afif a real goal threat to Bahrain we expect Qatar to line up in that formation Simon Marciniak of Poland is our referee VAR 
very much in use. Another pole heads up of Tomasz Kvitakowski. Felix Sanchez on the right, Helio Sosa greets him. The two respective head coaches, Spaniard and a Portuguese. Bahrain unbeaten in the last 13 competitive meetings in Qatar. Select the same team that won their last game two weeks ago, a 4-2 home win against Kyrgyzstan. Syed Dia has got six games versus Qatar, never on the losing side. A number of the starting 11 play for the strongest club side in Bahrain, Al Rifa, the reigning champions, including Ali Madan. Confident team who believe they can travel deep into this tournament. Felix Sanchez spent several years in the famed La Masia Academy at Barcelona. The Spaniard Helio Sosa, who led Bahrain to the Golf Cup in 2019, just five months after he took over as head coach. Countdown to kick off. Very nearly upon us. Away we go then, in Group A of the 10th edition of the Arab Cup, in Qatar 2021. The World Cup itself will be underway in this nation in under a year from now. And these quite magnificent stadiums, six of the eight that will be used for the World Cup 2022 will be in use for this competition. This particular arena, the Albait, the biggest of the six in use. Throw here for Bahrain, Syed Reda. Scored in that qualifying win against Kuwait. 2-0 victory, which brought Bahrain through to the finals themselves. Qatar won the Asian title in 2019, same year that Bahrain won that Gulf Cup tournament. So they've got recent silverware between them, these two. And they've been long-standing rivals. Best ball out of defence from uh, Bugama, but Bahrain have a free kick. Bulalem Kuki, one of the Al Sad players. There are a number in the Qatar squad, the dominant club side here in uh, Qatar. Recently, of course, had the famed former Spanish international and Barcelona captain Xavi Hernandez as their head coach, Al Sad, but he recently moved on. I'm sure Felix Sanchez had many a day watching. Xavi Hernandez at work, early on in his coaching career, now head coach at the club he served so well as a player, Barcelona. Come on. 
The other two teams in this Group A already with a point on the board. Iraq and Oman drew one each earlier today. Four games across day one of this 2021 FIFA Arab World Cup. Two of them already concluded that 1-1 draw, Iraq and Oman. And Tunisia started their tournament handsomely, defeating Mauritania by five goals to one. will be left here for Saeed Dia, one of the key players in the Bahrain side, the number four. Dia on the ball again here, celebrating getting uh, two 100 caps for his country. Forward by Walid Al Hayam. Just feeling one another out, these two, in the opening four minutes or so. Two European coaches in charge of these nations and many. European coaches within Arab football, bringing their knowledge of the game with them and instilling their style of football on the region's teams. Carlos Kiosh is here with Egypt, a good example of that. <laughs> Under their Spanish coach, Qatar building a reputation for a possession-based game, an attacking blueprint in the main. Testament, I think, to Sanchez's grounding at Barcelona's famed La Masia Academy. One thing that Bahrain will have to keep an eye out is for the rotation of the forward players for Qatar. Very good movement in the final third. won that Asian Cup in 2019 Qatar they had a shot conversion rate of 2.7 compared to the tournament average of 7.1 they were ruthless in front of goal and the chances arrived starting challenge from Tarek Salman another of the Al Saad players Saeed Reda suggesting he's going to launch this in long. He's waited until Bugama, number five, got forward from the back. It's a flat, short throw in the end from Reda. Useful looking cross! Oh, and that should have been an opening goal for Bahrain. A real let off for Qatar. And how did Makdi Al Humaydan not score there? It was a quite delicious cross. Floated in by Al Azwad. He just didn't time it. Angst on the Bahrain bench. Sam Hisham. Let off though for Sanchez's team. Could easily and should easily have been 1 0 down. <laughs> 20th 
Trying to open the play out here now, Qatar. Here's the captain, Abdelaziz Hatem. Nearly got it through. Bahrain have started the better here. A bit more tempo to their attacking play. Not seen anything yet of Afif and Ali. Two principal goal threats that Qatar provide here today. They've had no service to feed on in the opening nine minutes. Bugama. This is Madibo. Hisham. Expensive pass. It's inviting a run here for Komam Ahmed. This is Afif. Side flag against Qatar. Disappointing end to the best few moments of the match so far. Syed Mohammed Jaffa, the Bahrain goal. Local time just on quarter to eight in the evening in Alcor, about 50 kilometers north of the capital city of Qatar, Doha. of course have been involved in trying to qualify for the World Cup next year in this country failed to make it, fell short by a couple of points failed to make it to the third round of qualification never been to a World Cup Bahrain twice they've reached an intercontinental playoff losing to Trinidad and Tobago and New Zealand Qatar, of course, not having to deal with qualifying as hosts. They're getting some very useful experience as the guest team in one of the European World Cup qualifying groups. It's meant that their record of results has diminished in terms of their success. But the quality of opposition has been a lot greater. I think you would say, certainly in the shape of Portugal and Serbia, who they lost to on four occasions. They played those teams twice in that uh, qualifying group as the guests. It's Bugama. their way through here Bahrain comfortable take Syed al the Qatar goalkeeper You don't see a lot of teams in the Arab Cup competition. Is uh, the high press? Perhaps one of the teams that are best equipped to do it are Qatar. It's uh, a style that Felix Sanchez is slowly trying to deliver into their makeup. 
is Afif. Nice turn, no room for a cross of sorts, but didn't carry the quality to trouble Bahrain. From Qatar's perspective, perhaps their chances of making the first breakthrough are increasing with Afif getting more on the ball. Getting on to that, Al Humaida missed that glorious header from close range. Here it is again, a cross from Al Azwar. It had head me into the back of the net, written all over it. Chance not taken. Thomas Mahmed. Hatem. Trying to feed the run of Al Mawez Ali, but didn't get close to breaking that Bahrain defensive setup. Here's Saeed Dia. Bugama. Qatar's record coming into this tournament is uh, no win in the last eight matches. They've lost six of them. Their last win was in July in CONCACAF Gold Cup quarter-final. They defeated El Salvador 3-2. They had gone the opening ten matches of 2021 unbeaten, though. That mainly serves to underline the point I was making a few moments ago that the standard of opposition came much greater and their results suffered as a consequence but all part of the learning experience for the hosts of the World Cup next year should serve them well apparently they've had a very good preparation for this 2021 FIFA Arab Cup competition they spent part of their preparation in a camp in Marbella Spain out of the reach of Dia. One ball seeking out the pace of Afif and he's got plenty of that. I think you'll see Qatar trying that long ball over the top of the Bahrain defence from time to time Bahrain try that tactic themselves carries through to El shape Backing themselves to play out from the back. This is Hisham. Beautiful crossfield pass. Inch perfect here for Hamam Ahmed. Supported by Afif. It's the turn back to Hatem. Now Madibo. Trying to get width into their attacks here. Kata. Ahmed. Excellent cross. Goalkeeper stretching for that. Oh, and stretching again to keep out the shot. 
Well, that was very nearly a goal for Qatar. Excellent goalkeeping from Syed Mohamed Jaffa to deny Mohamed Wad. He did very well to control the ball at the first time of asking here and then to get a dangerous shot away. The home fans very nearly had something to celebrate. Abdelaziz Hatem will make way over this corner. It'll be taken by Akram Afi. Now, could be a quick break here if the pass is right for Bahrain. Qatar players scurrying back into some kind of shape. And our Polish referee. Simon Maciniak has given a free kick here to Qatar. Good reaction save there from Jaffa. Hisham. Madibo. Kuki. Hisham again. Makes that diagonal. Strikes him quite beautifully. Ahmed. Steals into a good position here. Komam Ahmed. Once a corner, isn't going to get it. Showing admirable adventure. The last few minutes have been more promising for the coach, Felix Sanchez. Qatar beginning to warm to the task. Here's Pedro Miguel. Mentioned uh, born in Portugal of Cape Verdean descent. Better known by all his teammates with the nickname Roro. Kick here to Bahrain. Saidia. Thief just trying to provide some kind of press, and they go back to Jaffa. Both sides have created one good opportunity apiece, particularly the one for Helio Sosa's Bahrain. Close range header from no more than a, a metre or so from the Qatari goal line. Al Homaidan putting his header wide of a post. Nothing to split them by way of possession. Mohamed Wad. Producing that uh, good save out of Saeed Jaffa. Approaching the midway point of the first half. Pedro Miguel. Hisham. Debo trying to collect that under pressure, it was difficult. Bugama. Dia. Almuez Ali losing out and injuring himself in the process. Looks as though he's going to be okay. 
desperately trying to get himself into the game. The number 19 for Qatar. Seen very little up to now. Almoez Ali, real quality striker. Top scorer in the CONCACAF Gold Cup tournament earlier this year. Quite often down the years, Qatar have been guests in various tournaments around the world. They've been to a Copa America in the past. Ugama. Forward by Reda. Now Madibo. Ahmed putting it down the line here for Afif. Now he bursts into life. On the way, Ali. It's an excellent pass from Afif. Angles tight. And Jafar stays strong. But there's the quality that that front two for Qatar can produce. We've got a very good understanding. Nothing else on his mind but to go for goal there, Ali. Felix Sanchez took over as the head coach of Qatar in 2017. Previously been in charge of the under 19s to under 23s. Just over a decade he's been coaching in Qatar. Dia. Good point, get himself settled over that for the accurate pass. Sosa thought it was the right idea, not quite the execution needed though. The best record at the Arab Cup for Qatar was runners up in 1998 when there were hosts. Bahrain have twice been runners-up, 1985 and 2002. This, incidentally, is the first Arab Cup that's been staged since 2012. And the reigning champions... Well, it was a long time ago, or Morocco, and they're here. as one of the 16 competing nations. The biggest complement of teams in any Arab Cup. Now, under the jurisdiction, this tournament of FIFA. It's Walid Al Hayam finding Dia. Quite spectacular opening ceremony before the hosts got their tournament underway this evening. Brilliantly stage managed. Watching on this evening, His Highness the Amir Sheikh. Tamim bin 
Ahmad Al Tani. Oh, that was a clear nudge. That was cynical. I'm going to have the game's first booking. Accepts it. Has no choice. Walid Al Hayam knew what he was doing here. He was losing the foot race there to Akram Afif. There's only one winner of that race. Information of Walid Al Hayam going into the referee's book. Decent set piece situation here for Qatar. In by Abdelaziz Hatem and two going for the same ball there. Lack of communication. It's a nicely flighted free kick. Player for Qatar not giving the other a shout there. Too late. Pedro Miguel. Hisham. It's noticeable that Bahrain were closing that back line of Qatar down a little quicker there. It's a message that has been imparted from coach Helio Sosa. Walid. Qatar have taken enormous confidence out of being the reigning Asian champions. Success in 2019. Japan 3-1 in the final. And the onside here, Bahrain. Staying down for now. Oh, excellent cross and very well defended. Flag eventually going up. Of course, assistant referees are told these days to keep the flag down. We have VAR to review things, and it's the correct flag in the end. But assistant referees are encouraged to allow attacks to develop. Now, this is definitely onside for Qatar. Omar Mahmed. Jaffa at full stretch, doesn't need to deal. With the shot from Abdelaziz Hatem, who struck it sweetly enough. One simple long ball there got the better of the Bahrain defence. Dia. against Mohamed Al Ramahi. Not seen too much of the Bahrain number 13 so far. Over 40 caps, 16 goals, has a decent record. That was the earlier effort from Hatem.
Well, no question that Bahrain started the better of the two teams. I thought they settled maybe a few nerves from the hosts, understandable. A lot of publicity. Qatar prepared to stage this 10th edition of the Arab Cup. And in the last seven or eight minutes, Qatar have looked the better team. Twice gone close. Madibo. Afif. Pedro Miguel. A little bit of room in which to work. Plenty of teammates forward here. They've got an overload beyond the far post. And that made Omar Ahmed unable to deliver an accurate volley. Wouldn't have counted anyway, as you could see the flag was up. Just drifted offside. Good decision from the assistant on this near side. Great excitement building up. I love their football in this region. Not only for this tournament, but of course for the World Cup itself next year. Almost beside themselves, some of the fans here will be welcoming the world to their table. Into the final ten minutes of the first half, there have been chances. Still wait for one to be taken. There's Afif, very deep. Looking pass. Lovely weight on that. Corner. Slightly risky challenge, I would have said as well. The referee afforded himself an excellent view. It was Ali Madan who was tracking back. It was a perfectly timed run. As I said, the weight on the pass was very good. He's been a danger down that left-hand side for Qatar, Omar Mahmed. Akram Afif will take the corner. Bahrain defend it well. going to be a yellow card for Omar Mahmed. Not sure he really needed to challenge as he did here. There was plenty of cover on for Qatar. Second yellow card of the game. One for each side now. Side again. Pedro Miguel giving chase. Bahrain get the referee's decision.
Nice take from Madame. Well, he didn't get very far. Here's Hatim. Almuez Ali. Dia Al Hamida Al Azwad to Dia Just picking their passes and finding their way through here Bahrain Corner conceded by Bassam Hisham bit more precise in that passing movement Bahrain Let's see what they can do from the corner <laughs> am I down to take well lead forward from the back still some work to do here for Qatar Now they could spring a quick counter-attack. Here's the dangerous Afif. Urged forward by the home fans, Sakram Afif. And the referee is showing a yellow card here. The challenge is just outside the penalty area. Of course, it will be checked by VAR. And I think you'll see that it was outside. VAR also having a look at that as... Al Sheikh drove towards the Qatari goal, but here you can see the shirt being held by Saeed Redder. His pace is a real handful for Bahrain. There, the challenge happened just outside, but only just. Redder and Afif discuss the incident. Redder yellow carded. Naturally. So, good opportunity. Four minutes shy of half time for Qatar to trouble Jaffa in the Bahrain goal. Looks as though Bassam Hisham fancies it, right footed. It is Hisham, and it is over the top. Never really dipping enough for him. Bassam Hisham with the effort. A player who was born in Iraq. His father was a former Iraqi international back in the 90s. Al Sheikh. This is nice from Bahrain. Qatar trying to quickly get back into shape. Another spin out for another Bahrain corner. Corner taken by Al Hamidan. Comfortably defended by Qatar. Here's Afif. He was alive to the ball out from the back. Madan, good feet in a tight position. Free kick. Another yellow card. Pedro Miguel this time. I have to say that Simon. Marciniak of Poland afforded himself an excellent view of this. He was able to see that Pedro Miguel 
chopped into the bottom of the shin of the opponent. Be nothing else but a yellow card for him. Come on, come on. Four players already walking a tight disciplinary rope. Bit too far out, I think, to test Saeed Sheib. Sheib in that Qatar goal. Well, 30 metres or so, but they're going for it, Bahrain. They would have needed something extra special to find the net there. Dia tried his luck. He's the player who's played against Qatar six times and never been on the losing side. A bad try, wasn't it? It wasn't that far away. Had it been inside the post, the goalkeeper was getting there. Dia thought about the back pass for a moment. Turned out nicely. Walid. Heading towards whatever stoppage time the Polish referee deems to add on. I can't think there'll be a great deal of that. Dia. Hard to recall a, a stoppage of any consequence. We've had the 45, the referee says no more. And the hosts, Qatar, have got their 2021 FIFA Arab World Cup underway. But no breakthrough yet after a bright start from Bahrain. Al Hamaidan missed a glorious chance with a close range header from an Al Azwad cross. Wad, Ali, and Hatam had good efforts for Qatar. But half time in Group A, it's Qatar nil, Bahrain nil. So here is how the first half shaped up here in Al Khor. Bahrain having more of the possession, but Qatar with double the attempts and the two so far on target. Both sides have picked up two yellow cards.
Well, no question that Bahrain started the game the better. They had that glorious early chance, which we'll see shortly for Al Hamaidan. Close range header, which really should have put the travelling nation 1 0 up in their opening match in this competition. But Qatar settled after that. You can see they've had twice the number of attempts, a couple of those on target, and four players already who are going to need to watch themselves in terms of any further disciplinary problems with the referee. Two yellow cards each in that opening period. So let's take a look back at the highlights of the third game of four on day one of the 2021 FIFA Arab Cup as the hosts Qatar got their tournament underway against near neighbours Bahrain. The early attacking play came from Bahrain and this wonderful early chance to take the lead, Al Aswad's cross. And it looked harder to miss. The goal gaping for Al Hamaidan. And only he knows how he didn't put his side 1 0 up. Maybe he just saw it late. The chances don't come much more gift wrapped than that one. After that, Qatar clearly showing some nerves in the opening minutes as the hosts really began to settle. And a very good effort from Mohamed Wad brought an equally good save from Saeed Jaffa. He was a little out of position initially, but recovered well to make the save. And once Qatar got Akram Afif, his undoubted pace into the game, and also his strike partner Al Moez Ali. Bahrain always struggling to plug the gaps. Ali from a tight angle, stinging the hands, but no more of Jaffa. At this stage, Qatar were clearly looking the better of the two teams from Hatem. Free kick, two players in maroon, rather getting in one another's way. And then a lovely weighted pass from Afi found Homam Ahmed, who made several good runs down the Qatar left. And Abdulaziz Hatem, his left foot shot. Travelling across the face of goal and not troubling Jaffa. And then from a free kick, Hassam Hisham. Able to find the target, maybe a range finder for later. Felix Sanchez will be happy with the response his side made from the slow start. Half time in Group A. The host Qatar nil. Bahrain nil.
Welcome back to the Albait Stadium in Alcor City in Qatar. As you can see, the host nation are going to make a substitution at the start of this second half. Not only coming on, but assuming the captaincy. Very, very experienced player in Hassan al Hados. 30-year-old midfielder, over 150 caps for his country. Felix Sanchez turning to experience in the shape of Al Hados, made his international debut in 2008 against Bahrain, coincidentally. Record cap holder, you won't be surprised to learn for his nation. Just confirming that he is replacing Tarek Salman. Not a positional change, I would venture to say. Salman, a defender. Hados, a midfielder. Don't think it'll affect the shape of Qatar too much as Bahrain prepare to get the second half underway. Third game of four on day one of the FIFA Arab Cup 2021. Two games already concluded. Tunisia seen as one of the favourites to lift the trophy on December the 19th. They started off their Group B campaign with a 5-1 win over Mauritania. And in Group A earlier today, this group, Iraq drew 1-1 with Oman. A very late equaliser in that game for 10-man Iraq. But 32 games in all over 19 days to determine our champions. Rather cheap throw afforded here to Bahrain. Qatar were free scorers when they won the Asian title in 2019, scored 19 goals in seven games, conceded only one. But it's Bahrain on the front foot early on in the second half here. Can't find room enough for the shot, despite the efforts of Al Hazwad. Teams with plenty of experience. Two teams, unlike others in this competition, coming with pretty much full strength squads. A number of teams are lacking their European based stars. I think of Mo Salah of Liverpool in England's Premier League, of course, uh, not here with Egypt. Clubs weren't forced to release their players for this Arab Cup. No Riyad Mahrez for Algeria, who are one of two continental champions that are here, along with Qatar, the current Asian champions. Algeria were crowned African champions also in 2019. Bahrain moving serenely forward here. That was a pretty important header from Qatar's point of view. Kuki well positioned and needed to be. This was a dangerous cross from Dia. Second half beginning rather like it did the first with Bahrain on the front foot. Dangerous one in. Oh, just finished wide of that near post. Well, they're claiming a handball perhaps in there, Bahrain. Let's have a look. Oh, well, the arm was outstretched. Didn't see it coming, did he? Omar Mahmed clearly struck his left arm 
and VAR are checking for a possible penalty here for Bahrain. Check is over. As you can see, didn't take long. And although the ball did strike the arm of Homar Mahmed, it would have been harsh, clearly in the view of the VAR team, because he had no time in which to get his arm out the way, and it wasn't arm to ball either. And that was certainly a help to the Qatari player. Long range. Not a bad strike either, was it? For Mohamed Hardan. Not seen a great deal of Bahrain's number 14 in this match so far. Spent some time in his past career. Hardan playing in Denmark. Mahi, hands in the back of Basam Hisham. Well, not a goal to ignite this Group A match. It's had its moments. Could easily have had a couple of goals. Watching on inside the stadium, my commentary position high up in this magnificent arena. His Highness the Amir Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani is here. Sitting alongside the FIFA president Gianni Infantino. Going to work out for Al Moez Ali. Thirty six goals for Qatar. Al Moez Ali is closing in on the record total of forty one. He really had one look at the Bahrain goal so far. Comfortable save for Jaffa. themselves some space now Bahrain Bugama travels safely through to Said Al shape Seen anything of Alhados since he came on? We see the captain's armband. They'll be looking to get him on the ball and this man Afif. This is Wad. It's given away cheaply. Bahrain counter quickly. The answer: No, not in that particular moment. But they have got a free kick. A yellow card for Asim Madibo. Fifth yellow card of the game. Three now for Qatar. Mm. Wasn't happy with the awarding of the decision there because he felt he got the ball first. game being played in a quite wonderful stadium Al Bayt which will stage the final of this competition by some 
distance the biggest of the six arenas that are being used. There'll be eight in next year's World Cup, including one that isn't being used, which will stage the final, the Lucille. Not being used here. Being very much kept in readiness for the World Cup itself. Now, Bahrain trying to pick their way through. Good defending from Qatar. Next up for Qatar in this group is this coming Friday against Oman in Education City. They finished the group here against Iraq a week today. A reminder, Iraq and Oman drew 1-1 earlier today in the first match in this group. Bahrain will play Iraq in the Al Tumama Stadium this Friday. And their final game in the group is against Oman next Monday. Here's Afif. Madibo thought about the shot and then takes it on and then choked on it. He was entitled to have a look at the Bahrain goal there. Found himself a little bit of space, didn't utilise it. Noted for his goal scoring, he's still to find a senior international goal, Madibo. I think Qatar were expecting that decision to go their way, but doing for Homa Ahmed. Here's Al Haidos, first sight of him on the ball. Referee's reaching for his pocket again. Dia, the recipient of that yellow card. And they are certainly racking up in this match. And he doesn't believe he did anything wrong at all there. Just stood his ground and felt the opponent engineered the contact. The referee saw it differently. Three yellow cards each now. Meantime, Abdelaziz Hatem looks at a good angle for his left foot here. This is going to drift in towards Jafar's goal with pace, I suspect. Now, how often do you see free kicks from this sort of angle go all the way in as players attack the ball, goalkeeper can get unsighted. Oh, and there's a glorious chance. Boulalem Kuki as coach Sanchez puffs his cheeks out and thinks of what might have been. Excellent free kick from Abdulaziz Hatem. Heads it down, it's probably the right idea, but just gets too much bounce on it. And the Al Saad defender. Unable to trouble the score sheet. Pocket of space here for Bahrain. Now they look to get some width into this attack. Too much on that from Camila Lazwat. Romahi and others in attack for Bahrain are struggling to get time on the ball at the moment. 
certainly Qatar have created the bulk of the goal scoring opportunities up the short and long passing quite well here the hosts just kept Bahrain on their toes there's that diagonal again so accurate with those Hassam Hisham here's Afif good looking cross and you could see what Alhedos was trying to do there headed back for his teammate who was in space Al Moez Ali who he was looking for and very nearly paid off Good offer from Alhedos beyond the far post there. Almost an hour gone in Alcor. This city known for its uh, fishing, the main industry here in Alcor. Several beaches surround the city. A reminder, put it in geographically in your in your mind, uh, 50 kilometers there about thereabouts north of the capital Doha. Bahrain came into this tournament. A very good record, they've won five of the last seven games, seven of the last ten, including five clean sheets. They've only failed to score in two of their 13 games this year. Comfortably saw off Kuwait in the qualifying match to get to this tournament. Those qualifying games were played in uh, Qatar back in June. Seven teams who did uh, qualify in June were Sudan, Oman, Jordan, who had a walkover against South Sudan, Mauritania, Lebanon, Palestine, and, as I mentioned, Bahrain. Alazwad. Bahrain are trying to speed up their passing game. I think that's a message from coach Helio Sosa at half time. Just ask a little bit more of that Qatari defense. Al Ramadi has won a corner. Touch off Toma Mahmed. with the corner shallow life was comfortable for Qatar Afif Qatar turning into traffic certainly when the draw was made 
There's a lot of talk about the four Gulf nations being drawn together. Early signs that Group A is going to be very tight and competitive. Here's Akram Afif. Needs support. Has to go it alone for the time being. Oh, great reverse. Hatem couldn't take it on. The cover was good, though, from Walid. Smelt the danger there. Oh, come again with Akram Afif, shots on, wants to make a better angle, and Ali is wide. Well, he'd be disappointed not to trouble the goalkeeper there. But the home nation building some momentum. the moment when the injury occurred for Mahdi Al Hamaidan. Great work here from Akram Afif. Picks out his strike partner Al Moez Ali. And you think he's going to score here, don't you? Doesn't usually miss these. Timing not as it should have been. Wasn't too far wide of the post, but really from the space that he had. Had to get it on target. Yeah, he knows that was his moment. Bugama. Reda. Back to slowing that passing game down again here, Bahrain. Just trying to tease Qatar out of shape. Just feel as though from Bahrain's perspective that they might be better served to keep the passing slick. Changes the foot, as you can see. And not fully recovering, I don't think, from that earlier knock. Mahdi Al Hamaidan makes way. He'll be thinking about that chance he missed very early on in the game. He'll be replaced by Mahun. is a striker, plays for the strong reigning champions in Bahrain, Al Rifa. Good goal scoring record as well, Mahoun. 12 goals in 28 senior international appearances. Just tiptoed into the final quarter of this Group A match. And it's becoming increasingly likely that one goal could settle this affair. This local affair, if you like. It's a short hop across the gulf from Qatar to Bahrain. Saudi Arabia here, that's one country you can drive into from 
Qatar. The rest you've got to travel over water. Omar Mahmed. Afif. Buzz around the Qatar fans when Afif gets on the ball and his assist. Lift off for the host Qatar in the 2021 FIFA Arab Cup. Abdelaziz Hatem. And finally, Qatar take one of their many chances. Well, he gets reward for his run here, ghosting from the edge of that Bahrain penalty area. Unseen, still had work to do here. Stretching into the header and guides it quite beautifully beyond the dive of Jafar, in off the post. Qatar 1, Bahrain 0. Contact was perfect. Tenth senior international goal, and right now it feels the most important to him. Well, that should make for a very interesting final 20 minutes or so here. Let's see what. Bahrain have got by way of reply. Of course, more risks they need to take. Could open the door to for the goal or two for Qatar. First one of those diagonals that Hisham has misplaced. Well, quite a wide margin, that one. But clearly, what watching future opponents will be noting that ball out from the back from Hisham. in the game for the first time, Mahoun is coming on for Helio Sosa. Mahoun's pass is a good one. Enough bodies there though for Qatar, picked away by Wad. about every kick and clearance and anything else via a touch from a Qatari player will draw the applause and cheers from the crowd. Happy enough with the scoreline. Still plenty of time for a Bahrain recovery. are fielding 14 of the successful squad which won the Asian Cup in 2019. And certainly developing as a team, showed some early nerves in this opening match of the tournament for them. But I don't think they're flattered by their lead, now looking to double it. Grab for Jaffa. 
Well, no chance with the header from Hatem. If Qatar hold on to what they have, and some, uh, as I mentioned, some good time for Bahrain to get themselves back on terms. But if Qatar do win, they'll go top of Group A. After all four nations will have played on day one of this tournament. Bugama, Alazwad. Again, the passing has slowed down for Bahrain. All this being played in front of Qatar. Ali Madan. Mahoun gives that one away. Madibo can get that under his spell and Bahrain will try and pick their way through. They just feel they've got to inject some tempo into their passing. Not troubling this Qatar defence at the moment. Leo Sosa calling for further replacements. Going to see Abdul Wahab Al Maloud and Ishmael Abdul Latif. Very experienced Abdul Latif. 124 caps, 47 goals. So you can understand why the coach is turning to him. 35 years old now. Another experienced player in Al Maloud who will be on alongside him shortly. Come and get it, is the message from Qatar to Bahrain. We're quite happy playing the ball around here. There's that diagonal again, yet again from Hisham. Afif. Atem, Afif. Madibo. Awkward one that for Wad, but he controlled it well. Another searching ball which Bahrain deal with very well. Good work from uh, Dia there, the left back. Hisham again. Too high with that one. It's clearly something that Felix Sanchez has worked on with that delivery out from the back from Hisham. Here come the changes then. Mohamed Al Romahi making way. Mohamed Hardan was the other player that left us. Abdul Latif, what can he produce? The 35 year old who once retired from international football in 2017 but returned two years later. Now, this could open up for Bahrain. Ali Madan, plenty of time to deliver the cross. He plays good advantage here for Bahrain. Mahoun. Will spin behind for a corner. A 
signs of Bahrain threatening the Qatar goal. But the threat at the moment is at arm's length, I think you would say. The goalkeeper not being introduced much. Saeed Al Shape. Maybe he'll be involved in dealing with this corner or hoping to deal with the Mahoon corner. Comfortable for Bulalem Kuki to clear. Convincing clearing header it was too. Madame. Al Azwad. It's too long. Qatar's turn to look to their bench. Mohamed Montari and Musab Keder will be the two players to come on. Montari is a striker, Keder is a defender. Koma Mahmed. Pedro Miguel. He's the goal scorer, Hatem. earlier about Bahrain's record against Qatar who might be free here it's Almoez Ali wouldn't have counted anyway he was offside oh, was he? he looked towards the assistant on the far side in the end the flag stayed down there and then it went up subsequently so here come the changes, Pedro Miguel is coming off, so Keder will replace him in defence. Number 13. And number 9, Montari, born in Ghana. Will supplement the Qatari attack. Musab Kader, one of several in the squad, born in Sudan or of Sudanese descent. And Asim Madibo makes way for Mohamed Muntari. Came to Qatar as a teenager after being born in Ghana. He was a naturalised uh, citizen and had 11 goals for Qatar, Muntari. Here's Afif. Quick injection of pace from Akram Afif, trying to feed the new man Montari. Right idea, didn't quite work out. Covers the ground so quickly over the first five metres. He is rapid, Afif. Montari, moments after coming on, and now beating the turf in anguish. He looks hurt here. Afif trying to feed his run. Good challenge from Walid Al Hayam. Needed the time that. <laughs> Ali Mada. Stolen well here by Wad. Seven minutes plus time to be added on for Bahrain to find a goal here. They'd have certainly settled before kickoff to take a point from the hosts, despite the fact they've got an excellent record down the years against them. Indeed, Qatar haven't beaten Bahrain since a friendly in 2004. And they played good few times since then I can tell you
Madan. Just jumped in a bit there, Wad. And this is opening up for Abdelatif. Tight angle. Went to try and drive it, maybe get a ricochet into the net off goalkeeper Al Shape. Might have been better squaring the ball there, I would have thought, Abdelatif. It's an easy game from the commentary box, I know. But just look how tight the angle eventually is here as he gets the better of Kuki. Is there a cutback, I wonder? It's almost on the byline when he tried the shot. Spot of cramp here for Hisham. Abdulaziz Hatem has the goal that counts for Qatar. Cross from Akram Afif. Ghosting run into the box from Hatem. And a brilliant header. All about timing. Good does that feel for the host nation? Sam Hashim looks as though he'll be fit to resume shortly, but in the meantime, Qatar play without him. Oman, Qatar's next opponents on Friday in Group A. The match will be played in Education City. They will be back here at the Al Bayt in Al Khor. A week today, the final match in the group will be against Iraq. Ali Madan. Lucky break there for Bahrain. Plenty of white shirts in attendance here. Good work from Kedair to prevent any damaging cross. Two further changes here for Bahrain. Ali Madan, seen a great deal of him in the game. Seem I'll shake the other player departing. The arrivals Mahdi Abdul Jabbar and Abal Abbas. Abbas Al Four, to give him his full name. But very little time to change the course of this match. Qatar's change. We'll see the departure of Akram Afi for the crowd have enjoyed his performance. Generally speaking, when he's been on the ball, he's been looking to make things happen. Talented player. And one we're going to see and talk a lot more about our fancy in this competition. Karim Hassan who replaced him 
Another of the hugely experienced Qatari internationals. Well over 100 caps for him. Looking to just keep the scoreline as it is. That will do for Qatar. Walid timing another good sliding challenge. And we're heading into the 90th minute now. Space opening up. This isn't going into the Bahrain box anytime soon from Homar Mahmed. Don't need to force the issue, of course. Hassan to Abdulaziz Hatem. Looks as though he's going to be the match winner. We'll find out shortly just how much time will be added on. Had a raft of substitutions in the second half, so that alone should mean we're going to have enough minutes to encourage Bahrain. They fashion one good goal scoring opportunity. Found it difficult in the main to do so. So there's the answer from our fourth official a minimum of five extra minutes. that right back position of Qatar Abdel Latif <laughs> Hassan with the clearance and anywhere would do for Qatar well, they've no option really now Bahrain you would have thought but to speed up their passing something a little bit different if they can Didn't play so much in front of Qatar as I touched on briefly earlier never really rattled Qatar out of their shape and by Reda a hopeful cross that at least getting it in and around that Qatar penalty area, albeit comfortable defending for the hosts. Rather frustrated Portuguese coach of Bahrain, Helio Sosa. Winning start for Felix Sanchez, looking increasingly likely. Another Qatar change. Playing the old professional game here, Felix Sanchez just disrupting the final moments, making his changes. Almoez Ali. Departs. Been around a fair bit in his career. Ali's played in Belgium and Austria and Spain. Been in great form 2021 for Qatar. Ishmael Mohamed is replacement, as you saw. He's for the Al Duhail club. One of the players in the Qatar squad, there's several of them, born in Doha. He was born in Spain, Felix Sanchez, the Spaniard to be head coach of Qatar. And they're enjoying his work. Time running out here for Bahrain. Fourth of the five extra.
forward by Reda. Now they are forcing those passes forward, as indeed they must. With the seconds ticking on down. Takeaway for Helio Sosa and Bahrain if they do lose by a goal to nil here is they've got to be more creative in the final third. And in my view, for what little it counts, speed up their passing. You know, ask more of the opposition. A bit better movement off the ball, I think Sosa will be looking for. More variety in their attack. So, late opportunity to steal an equaliser in the final moments. And we'll wait to see whether the referee adds on any further to the five minutes that were posted, because the five minutes are very nearly up. Oh, and Qatar were very nearly through the heart of that Bahrain defence. Cleaner touch than they would have been. time in stoppage time and it's straight down the throat of Al Shabe. well there was the opportunity excellent ball in from Dia right on the money really and now Abdul Jabbar who came off the substitutes bench a few moments ago couldn't take the chance and that is probably Bahrain's last opportunity And it was certainly there to grab the equaliser. It's not the full-time whistle. And did Felix Sanchez think it was? I think it was for the offside, wasn't it? And also, as you can see, a player down injured. Almost about to begin the celebrations there, Qatar. Is the collision just short of the halfway line? Sanchez is animated as we've seen him all evening. Qatar are almost there. And they are there. One goal in the second half, an excellent header from that man, Abdulaziz Hatem, gets the hosts. And Felix Sanchez, their Spanish head coach, off to a winning start in the 2021 FIFA Arab Cup. Did seem into the second half at 0-0 as if one goal would decide it. And in Group A, it's gone the way of the home nation. Qatar 1, Bahrain 0. Plenty of satisfaction amongst the Qatar players. As I said, Bahrain didn't ask enough questions of their defence. The better team won. And if they had been more clinical and ruthless in their finishing, Qatar could have won it by a greater margin. But they won't worry about that. Three points on the board. And they are top of Group A. player of the match being announced on the public address system Akram Afif of Qatar Coach, congratulations. You have been speaking about a tough match yesterday. Did you find more tough today? Well, we know uh, Bahrain has a very good team. They are working very good in the last couple, three years. Very organized team with top quality. So I think we play a good game. In the first half, it was a little difficult. Always the first game, it's not easy. 
but I think we had the better chances and we really deserved the, the three points. Mr. Felix, after one year, you replay the opening match here after one year for the World Cup. How this match is inspiring for you and your team? Well, I, I think it's an experience for us also, as I said before in the, in the press conference, to play this tournament is like a training for the World Cup, so it's an experience for them and I think good experience to have now uh, one year just before the World Cup. Next match, Oman. Oman is the next opponent. What's your expectation? They draw today. Yeah, I think uh, all the teams we are uh, in a very equal, so every game we need to play at our best and the details will make the difference. So let's hope that we can recover after the game and uh, be ready for the next one. Well done, coach. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. هارت لك كوميل الخسارة الأولى للبحرين أمام قطر منذ العام 2002 شو بتعني لكم اليوم؟ أول شيء بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله على كل حال حاولنا أن نطلع بثلاث نقاط بس قدر الله ما شاء فعل نفس ما شفت حاولنا قد ما نقدر استغلوا خطأ منا ونقول خلاص نطلع هاي صفحة المباراة ونركز للقادم إن شاء الله عندنا مباراتين نحاول نعوض إن شاء الله خسارة اليوم البحرين وتعادل عمان والعراق هل يبقي الأمل للبحرين لأتاهل دور الثاني؟ أكيد عندنا أمل باقي عندنا مباراتين راح نقاتل لآخر نفس في هذه البطولة إن شاء الله التوفيق يكون من حليفنا إن شاء الله عفوا مبروك اليوم مباراة صعبة لكن سجلت هدف كيف أزلت هذا الضغط واستطعت أن تسجل هدف اليوم الحمد لله أول شيء على الفوز أعتقد مباراة كانت صعبة دائما المباريات الافتتاحية يكون فيها حذر حسابات ثانية المباريات الخليجية دائما يكون فيها ندية غلبها دائما طابع الحماس فأعتقد كان مباراة صعبة جاتنا كان فرصة الشوط الأول ما سجلنا أعتقد هم جاتهم فرصة كنا شوي نستعجل في اللعب بس اعتقد في النهايه سجلنا يعني جاتنا فرصه والحمد لله اول ثلاث نقاط وان شاء الله بدايه المشوار. بعد سنه بالضبط من اليوم حتلعبوا في كاس العالم على نفس هذا الملعب في افتتاح مونديال قطر. مباراه اليوم اي ثقه اعطتكم في نفسكم ان شاء الله قبل المونديال المقبل؟ آه طبعا يعني اجواء حلوه وشيء آه ملعب آه وايد روعه. آه في النهاية نحن مرينا في تجارب كثيرة وقاعدين نستعيد حق كأس العالم. آه هذه واحدة من التجارب آه أعتقد إن شاء الله بنكون جاهزين في كأس العالم. شكرا جزيلا ألف مبروك. إن شاء الله يعطيك اليوم لم نشاهد البحرين بالمستوى المطلوب، قطر لربما خلقت فرص أكثر. لم نشاهد ردة الفعل المطلوبة من البحرين بعد الهدف. ما الذي حدث اليوم في المباراة؟ الحمد لله رب العالمين ردة فعل سجلوا علينا في آخر دقائق المباراة فخلقنا فرصة فرصتين في نهاية المباراة في فرص كانت بين المنتخبين الشوط الأول 50-50 الحمد لله يعني بس أن المنتخب القطري ممكن استعداده أكبر بكثير من المنتخب البحريني فممكن هذا الشيء اللي فرق يعني أن حظوظ البحرين ما زالت قائمة في التأهل خصوصا أن المباراة الأخرى في المجموعة بين عمان والعراق انتهت بالتعادل. إيه أعتقد كل الفرق يعني سواء حاليا بتأهل تونا في أول مباراة والمباراتين الثانيين يعني بتحكم إن شاء الله. شكرا حياك. So this is how the Group A match shaped up here. At the Albait Stadium in Al Khor, Bahrain eventually had more of the possession and they narrowed or certainly increased their attempts at goal from the first half. Qatar still had the greater of those and double the amount on target, and the one, of course, that counted for Abdulaziz Hatem. Referee was busy in terms of the yellow cards, but generally oversaw the game very well. Simon Marciniak of Poland. As Qatar run out 1 0 winners. This beautiful Al Bayt Stadium in Al Khor City, which will host the final of the FIFA 2021 Arab Cup. 
Saw the hosts in action for the first time in Group A against Bahrain, who got off to the better start of the two seat teams early on in the first half. An excellent cross from Al Aswad, just absolutely demanded that Al Humaydan would score with a header at the far post. Chance not taken. Qatar improved after that, made themselves a couple of openings themselves. That Hisham free kick not troubling. Jaffa in the Bahrain goal. Into the second half. Bahrain were very much at arm's length in terms of troubling Qatar defensively. Really didn't get in behind the fullbacks too much. And Qatar did attack, they did carry the greater threat. And Kuki meeting that hat M free kick, heading it down as probably he should, but too high a bounce. And it stayed nil nil. Just wondered where the breakthrough might come from. Especially you would think for Qatar when this man was on the ball, Akram Afif, setting up Al Moez Ali. Another good chance for Qatar was missed. And a man who normally troubles the goalkeeper at the very least from that position. But they're really beginning to dominate the ball and territory at this stage, Qatar. He said during the time in commentary, one goal might decide it. And this is the goal that ultimately did decide it. Afif's cross, finding a beautiful ghosting run. Just look at the movement here from Hatem, gets reward for it. Wonderful offer. And all about the timing of the header. Gave Jafar no chance. Delight for Felix Sanchez and Qatar. Disappointing start for Bahrain. Qatar 1, Bahrain 0 in Group A. fans leaving the arena the biggest of the six arenas this quite magnificent Al Bayt Stadium will Qatar the hosts be in that final there's a lot of football to be played between now and then but for the time being they sit proudly at the top of Group A Oman and Iraq earlier on day one, played out that 1-1 draw, very late equaliser in that game for Iraq, who were down to 10 men at the time, having seen a red card. And Bahrain at the bottom after the defeat we've just seen. So, I hope you've enjoyed the coverage of day one up to now. This is the completion of the third of the four games in the 2021 FIFA Arab Cup. And the time being from the Al Bayt Stadium in Alcor, from Kevin Keatings and all the team, until the next time, it's goodbye.